to how you uh, we're here today in the beautiful downtown Warwick on a picture perfect day. I'm here with uh, Darren Christensen. He's the uh, candidate for Maranoa and has been travelling on uh, electric non stop, flying from place to place. And uh, today's the last one, so he's done a great job. There's been a very positive response in the regional Queensland. I'm surprised at how much support we've generated. Uh, people I know and people that I didn't know that I knew, so it's been fantastic. Quite a good experience and it'll be very interesting today. Yeah, I'm very uh, happy to have Darren running for us. And, uh, the calibre of candidates we've got, I've got to say, is uh, incredible. So I'm really proud to have somebody uh, of Darren's uh, calibre standing with us. So good on you, mate. Thanks, Fraser. Much appreciated. It'll be a good day today. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah. Um, do you have a any uh, messages for any of your supporters? Been, uh, there's um, been a lot of support, hasn't there? There has, Martin, uh, yeah, and uh, I'd just like to thank everyone who has supported us, um, and particularly the people who joined as a member, because really that's the only finance we've had. The only funding we've had uh, has been uh, the $20 membership from nearly 3,000 odd people. So, unlike people like Mr. Palmer, who spent $6 million a week, <laughs> we were lucky to spend $600 a week. But if we hadn't had those people join, um, it, we would have been way behind, you know, paying for core flutes, paying for how to vote cards and all that sort of thing. So uh, they've been an integral part of this, uh, of getting the party up and run, running. So really, really appreciate uh, everyone's uh, support. Um, I've heard even supporters have said uh, some have been quite pessimistic. I prefer to be optimistic. Um, if you get if you get re-elected back into your seat, what's the first point of order? What will be your first priority? Well, the first thing that uh, I've, I've promised I'll do is try and get the 10,000 uh, emergency visas for the South African farmers. Uh, people in this country don't know, a lot of them don't know that they're being slaughtered and uh, barbaric uh, you know, people are attacking them and, uh, and they're slaughtering children uh, like this little girl here, um, Amelia, um, you know, some horrific, horrific things they're doing to them. And, uh, I think that you know we should be looking after those sort of people. It's not hard to bring them in here. 10,000 emergency visas. We bring all sorts of fake refugees into the country, and we're leaving decent Christians like the South Africans, who are great settlers in this country. We're leaving them there at the at the mercy of these uh, animals who are attacking them. Darren, what percentage of the primary vote do you predict that you will get? Oh, Martin, I, I hate to put a number on it, mate. Uh, I believe that whatever support we receive is is likely to be better than expected. Um, I'm amazed about the amount of support that I've had in regional Queensland, particularly for the reason that some of bigger business people that I spoke to sought after me saying, we have to vote for you. And I said, okay. And a few questions uh, ensued after that. And one of the reasons was because of immigration. Some of the people in big business that are aware of the future plans for Australia are very concerned about un, uh, people that will not assimilate into regional Queensland. That very much shocked me because I was more interested in regional development in uh, Western Queensland, but that has boosted my confidence that it will be very interesting, the result today, but, but I, wouldn't, I wouldn't like to speculate on that with Martin. Sure. Um, when do you expect to know results? <coughs> well, probably um, tonight uh, for the lower house. Most of the lower house seats should most mostly be uh, decided tonight, except for the ones that are very, very close, relying on the postal votes. Uh, the Senate, however, will be could be you know a week or two uh, by the time they go through all the preferences and and the recounts and the recounts. If if there's uh, some of them will be known straight away. Anyone who gets a, a full quota will obviously be known, but the close ones will take uh, a fair while to count the preferences. Okay. Um, what does the next week look like? You're going to have a couple of beers? <laughs> Had a couple of beers last night. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get much of a chance last night, but I certainly will be tomorrow and uh, just a bit of a chance to give some, get some family time. My wife's been extremely supportive in this process, so uh, I'm very looking forward to spending a little bit of time with this little one and the darling wife. That's, that's the, definitely on the cards. Yeah, just wanted to uh, point out that we've got some great supporters all over the country helping us, putting up core flutes and handing out how to vote cards and uh, Bruce is one of them. He's done a great job here in Maranoa with Darren. So uh, he's just an example of, uh, of the great group of people who have been helping us out. So.
the most important thing is everyone's short of time and a lot of people have given a lot of their time that they may have already had other commitments and Bruce is probably one of the people that's given the most amount of time and for that we're beyond appreciative and we look forward to doing some other future business outside of our uh, election times in the future. So thanks Bruce. Yeah, thanks Bruce.